Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Now, Intel is set to make some serious strides in the semiconductor industry, with them finally revealing their bleeding edge 10A 1 nanometer process node. So sit back and relax as we talk about Intel's 10A process node and their future aims to become the world's largest foundry by 2030. Now Intel has finally announced an update on its 10A process node to target the release of this process node to beyond 2028. If Intel sticks to their projected roadmap of their process technology, this means that Team Blue will be three years ahead of the Taiwanese giant, that being TSMC. With TSMC's roadmap projecting that they will have a one nanometer process by 2030. But switching back to Intel and their foundry services, they also expect that their 14A mode, which is a 1.4 nanometer node, will get to production by 2026. And this means that Intel is well on track to make its foundry division the world's biggest, mainly through superior processors being pushed out into the market way earlier than its competitors. But regarding the details of the 10A process itself, Intel didn't reveal too much in the way of details where we can expect a whopping 20 to 30% performance increment over the 14A process node, which we haven't even seen yet. This is of course undoubtedly a massive achievement for Intel Foundry services and could mark the potential comeback in the semiconductor market that Intel has been so desperately waiting to get a hold of. Intel has been out of the spotlight for a while for being the pioneer of semiconductor technology, so it's great to see that they are finally making this push and sorting themselves out to be back as one of the leaders in the industry. Now, as part of Intel's recent presentation when they debuted the 10A process, the most interesting thing that they talked about was their wafer fab capacity slide and is particularly interesting in the sense that it shows that Intel 4, Intel 3, 20A and 18A would scale up in production only by 2026 and onwards. Meanwhile, Intel 14A and 10A capacity is expected to be low even beyond 2028. And all of the future nodes beyond Intel 7 will be employing the use of EUVs. Now, while the 10A process sounds like it's going to be very impressive, that is currently not where the primary focus for Intel is at the moment, with CEO Pat Gelsner himself came out and expressed Intel's firm focus on the 18A process node at the moment, with Pat Gelsner claiming that he put his whole company on the line for the release of the 1.8 nanometer node. And also in the interview with the one and only Dr. Ian Cutrus, always known as Tech Tech Potato, Pat Gelsner reiterated the firm's dependency on the success of its 18A process, claiming it had been the most prominent financial bet the firm has ever made. While his statement isn't shocking at all because 18A is known to be one of the most advanced process nodes in modern times and it's particularly important as Intel is depending on this node for an immediate comeback which is why it holds great significance to the future of Intel. Based on all of the information and indicators we have up until now, Intel's foundry services could place itself in a tremendous strategic position in the market and this could be the massive comeback Intel has been waiting for for so long now. And Intel has already secured a 15 billion contract from Microsoft on its 18A process. And that would be a massive cash induction to Intel's foundry services. And with the success of these new process nodes, we could finally see Intel equal the likes of TSMC at the pace they are going at. So in all, the future looks very promising for Intel. And quite frankly, I am glad that they're finally getting their act together and back to paving the way for process technologies. As quite frankly, for such a long time, Intel were sitting idle during the era where they essentially had a monopoly and hold on the market since when they first introduced their FinFET process back in 2011, all the way up to essentially their 10, 10 nanometer days where they were left unchecked and unrivaled with AMD only emerging as a serious competitor only since around 2018. So during that time when there was no competition and the lack of challenge to Intel's processors, they essentially just sat around and got comfortable on the process technology that they currently had. So they put no effort into actually pioneering and advancing the direction of the CPU market and process technology. But with the emergence of popularity and domination of the market by the likes of AMD and TSMC, this sent a message to Intel and actually sent them a massive wave and shock to the direction of the market where Intel went through a massive restructuring and with the introduction of Pat Gelsner as the CEO has meant that Intel has had a major shakeup with how its leadership and structuring of its company is. 
and has finally forced them to sort themselves out and actually get back to what they were always known for and that is pioneering process no technology. So while it may take a few more years for all of these new fabrication plants and process nodes to come online, I strongly think that the future of Intel is very promising and I can't wait to see what they bring to market in the next few years. As quite frankly, we need competition. At the current state of the market and with the advancements AMD is making, where they have just constantly trotted all over Intel at every iteration, with AMD constantly iterating and improving their process technology, they have essentially left Intel in the dust. So I'm super happy to see Intel take this approach as I didn't want a reverse of what Intel was in the market a few years ago with the likes of AMD, where AMD would find themselves unchallenged in the market as that would be terrible for the pricing of CPU products and would also slow down the rate of innovation in the sector. So I'm really happy to see that once again, we're gonna have some great competition in the process technology market. As, as I always say, competition means better prices for us and more innovation in the technology as well. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on this story in the comments down below. What do you think of Intel finally making their grand comeback that they have so desperately needed all of these years? And how do you think this will affect the wider market and competition as a whole from other competitors? Let me know all of your opinions in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you once again for watching today's video and I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye for now.